we're going to look at one of the strongest types of guards from the bottom position, okay? Which is a cross gripping here. And especially with the gi, all right guys? So let's look at the problems here. First of all, he has a foot here on the hip, okay? Super strong. The other foot he has in the spider guard, <clears throat> but this is a unsupported spider guard gripping. There's two types of gripping with the spider guard. There's one here, which is unsecured. And now this is a secured spider grip uh, or spider guard grip. He has unsecured, but still problematic. Okay, very, very problematic. <clears throat> From this position, he has a cross grip here on the collar and controlling the same side arm. Very, very tough guard, okay, to deal with. The first thing that I'm going to do <clears throat> is never try to do a hand or upper body against legs. When you're trying to pass the guard and fight against the guard, you can't go with your upper body just against his legs. This is a losing battle, okay? Physics, legs are much, much more powerful than arms, okay? If I just try to go with my upper body against his legs, it's a losing battle. I have to get my legs into the equation. And what I ultimately want is a leg versus leg battle. So how do I do this in this position? First thing that I do, guys, is I'm just gonna anchor on with a solid gripping of my own on the gi, okay? This anchors me slightly in place. Now, from this position, what I'm gonna do is to start to lean toward my right side. This creates an unweighted leg with the left leg. As soon as my leg becomes unweighted, I stick my knee inside and I push and drive off that hook, okay? So I was here. If I just try to do it here, it's a weighted leg with my weight 50-50. It's going to be very difficult. I start to lean and my head goes toward the opposite foot. Now all my weight goes there and I can get my knee inside and drive that leg off. Now that gives me full inside positioning, which I always, always want in combat sports. From here, as soon as I have this positioning, this grip is key. It's key to keep his leg far away as I initiate the process of, uh, the process of passing. From here, I'm gonna grip on the leg. <clears throat> this leg comes over the top. This one goes here and this one goes over the top. Now from here, if he tries to interfere with this leg over the top, it's very difficult because my grip here. Okay, and I keep my head low and I keep gripped right here. Now from this position, it's easy. Pull up on the sleeve, pass, and now I'm in a strong side control position. So again,